Hi Aries, it's L here to do your Mercury retrograde messages reading. Okay, it's for July 2019. Um, okay, in the pre-shuffle, uh, there's somebody who, man Aries, you are heavy on their mind. Like they want to talk to you, they want to come to you and say, Say this, say that. They want, they want to be your husband. A lot of masculine energy. I can't even say that, you know, this is like womanly energy where there's some Aries woman who is like chasing after some man. She wants, no, it was like masculine energy. Uh, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. You know, the Tens govern the masculine energy. Uh, the seven of cups you know somebody's daydreaming hard about you it was seven of cups it was the three of earth it was a four of, earth, of air someone is uh praying for the opportunity to to tell you everything that they have never said uh, this could be my aries men also wanting to do this uh, in regards to someone else uh, so in and my Aries women then you know that there's some man who wants to come to you and say all of those things let's see what's going on what Lord God do you have to tell the Aries for the Mercury retrograde what is coming back for the Aries what are they going to deal with during this Mercury retrograde season all right The hangman, something stalled, eight of air, three of earth. So, the universe wants you to see something from a different perspective. Uh, remove yourself. There might even be some upheaval in your life uh, to where you have to, to make a, a decision. What is coming or what has come is a permanence. Like, there's no going back. Um, there might be sacrifice in order to gain. So it's like you're losing in order to gain. It may be in regards to um, she, like merging shared resources. What is this eight of air? Some of you, oh, some of you may be contemplating like separation and or divorce, and what you are losing is um, like you you're concerned about your your resources, the tangible of life, your assets, your money, your investments, loans, home. Um, home loans uh, you, very much concerned about your resources and they're shared with someone else so um, there might be some Piscean person who could be concerned about that they want to partner with maybe the Aries or vice versa someone that you work with or work for Someone who's feeling left out. Someone who's holding something back from you, Aries. Or you're holding something back from them. These two cards fill up. Ace of Earth, Two of Earth. So this is a person who... They're practicing caution because there's a... A level of risk associated with whatever they they've got going on, or with whomever. There's like, okay, so I mean, it could break down to several different stories. There's some Aries here who are dealing with somebody who's already in something. They're already married or partnered. There's a lot of um, obligation within their marriage or partnership. 
financial obligation they're going to have to think about how they can divide um, or how their money will be divided they think about partnering with the Aries uh, they think about some of them think about the money that they're going to lose how they're going to get it back uh, how they're going to rebuild they think about they feel stuck with somebody it could be an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius could be a Piscean person I don't know they feel stuck because there is um this person feels stuck like how they think about the connection um they also are feeling stuck because it's like oh you know that the, they're a person who wants to see the obligation through they're a person who wants to do the right thing there might be some fundamental um childhood you know fundamentals that they they were raised with you just don't walk out you just don't leave or you just you try to make it work um but but at the same time they they are resting in an air of delusion because this is just not working you can't they you can't make it work it has not been working for for some of whomever you're dealing with Aries or this I don't feel like this is the Aries uh it could be but whomever you're dealing with um they're at a place of they have two very real options who do they start over with who do, who do, do they rebuild with okay I gotta get these two cards that fell on the floor that fell all the way over somewhere else okay the strength card and the seven of swords this is a person who they're trying to tame themselves they're already in something like they also may be thinking about you Aries about the level of intimacy that they had with you maybe you know sexual pleasure they're also thinking about merging life with you how maybe it could have been so much better or it is so much better or will be so much better but they they also are stuck well it looks like they're reducing the energy from the eight of swords to the seven of swords they know that they need to um revise some plans that they, they may be making some some plans of uh to take action in secret uh it may be, it may come off deceptive right because it's like well because they're already married or in some contractual agreement or in some relationship um so it may come off deceptive or whomever they're dealing with is being deceptive and going behind their back and doing something in regards to money and shared resources i don't it's so much storyline here um it's like days of our lives um this person just needs to like this is a man because <laughs> if this was a woman first of all it'd be a lot more cups a lot more emotion and i'm not you know being stereotypical i mean it just would be because um you know women we make more decisions off of how we feel you know i feel like i don't love them no more i want to help um but this is a man who's concerned about yes i am thinking of another person i am maybe even in love with because there's an air of delusion here also but there's also somebody practicing caution because there's a risk factor here there's also there is a challenge that's going to come within uh, a relationship and how you deal with that challenge or how this person's deal deals with the challenge is going to be it should be based off historical reference if you if this is always the challenge in this relationship then you know you need to do something different you know doing the same thing gets you the same result insanity is you know the cycle of insanity anyway that's that but this is a man who's concerned about everything that he's built up 
He's concerned about his money and how it looks to divorce or to separate or, or, or to get out of or to rebuild. This is what's going on for the Mercury retrograde for Aries. I really feel like this is somebody else in all of this energy and not really the Aries. This is someone else. Um, you know, third party situation only. Justice, yeah. Someone has a decision to make. A decision is being made. A debt. Somebody just feels like, I just want to do the right thing. Maybe with the mother of their children. Or somebody wants child support here. Some money from some someone that they have children with. They're expecting money. Uh, someone has said, I'll give you money. Somebody, uh, somebody could be dangling the carrot too, like. Well, if you stay with me, then you can have this. Yeah. There's that page of fire. Good news, but it's condition. Sometimes it's conditional. Like, well, I'll do if you, and well, I'll go if you. I'll do, I'll give if you. You know, it's it's like strings attached. Uh, it could be you know good news, a message that you're awaiting. It also could be. Somebody, you, Aries, or someone else going in a different direction. Someone who wants to give apology or repay a debt that they feel they have with you, Aries. Um, all these cards just keep falling on the floor. My God. Five of Water. This is somebody who... Aries, this is Mercury retrograde. So somebody's coming back. They miss you. They love you. You they, you may have children with them. Or they want children with you. Or they have children. Or I don't know. Um, there's a separation. There's a temporary separation here. You guys are coming back together. Or they want you to come back together. Um, they... They regret not saying things also. There's somebody hesitating before making a, a, a decision in regards to maybe something that's really established, a, a marriage. But they have the idea about what they want. King of Water. Uh, but there's a lot of fear associated with an ending. A lot of anxiety. Because some, I'm hearing somebody is outright crazy. This could be the person that they're partnered to. This person is not going to take too well to this, you know, that your person going to the wife, the husband, whomever, whatever, and saying, look, this is over. I want a divorce. I want out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that for you. But um, I don't want to be here. That person is not going to take too well to that. All they're going to see, all they're going to hear is that my life is over. And and I'm not going to have something about tool, something about money, re, um, material possessions, habits. Somebody's like, someone is more concerned about you, the per, area... The, the 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 person you're dealing with wanting out of a situation but the other person that they're in a relationship with is more concerned about well what will it look like if you leave you know in, in regards to you know the home my home my car i drive the money in my bank account you know they're more concerned about that than the actual relationship um this person yeah, this person is crazy. It looks like Aries, whomever you're dealing with, is wanting to to have marriage with you later in life. They want to travel and do all kinds of stuff with you. They have a lot of stuff to clear up. This is the person standing in the way, the Queen of Swords. She's 
She's not letting something go. She feels jaded. She feels slighted. She feels as if you are taking something from her. This is another woman. This is so. This is two women. And this man, King of Water. Um, it could be anybody. Don't get too hung up on the signs. If it's your story, it's your story. This is someone who is going to stand in the way of any type of connection because she feels slighted, she feels jaded, she feels backstabbed, betrayed. She wants what she wants and she wants it now. And by any means necessary. Uh, let's see. Um... this other person it looks like third party I, I can't even sugarcoat it how does this person feel about the Aries page of cups could be a Piscean person this person wants to offer apology to you they feel like you are ready for partnership Aries you're independent you're you're sexy you're you're outgoing you're beautiful. Six of Swords. They feel like they want to make the choice that is you. King of Pentacles. I told you this king, this king came out in the pre-shuffle. They feel like they want to be your your rock, your shield. They want to be your wow, four of wands. They want to be in relationship with you. They want to make this happen. They feel as if there is um a magni I mean, wow, a magnificent connection between the two of you. It's dynamic. It's like nothing they've had before. And they want to have a family with you, roots, children, home. They want to travel. They want to learn with you. They feel like you're cultured. They feel very good about you. They feel like you, um, you're very peaceful. You, you, you've made the choice to have peace with. Um, this is how they feel about you. Um, let's get some advice for the Aries. What is the advice for the Aries? In regards to this particular person. What is the advice for the Aries? Hmm. What is the advice for the Aries? One more. Mm. Well, I'll tell you, it looks very good, Aries. I'm going to tell you, you, you're going to get everything you want. Not without a fight, though. Let's go over to the website and let's talk about how it looks if you take the advice of the cards. Um, what's the advice for you in regards to dealing with this person? But before we do that, we will pull some Angel Answers cards to leave you with. Let's see. What's the advice? The angel answers card. Okay, yes. We got a yes answer. Abundance. Didn't I tell you? Wow. Improving health. And within the next few months. That, psh, within the next few weeks. This is what I'm talking about. I'm rising, Aries. I want all of this. Okay? <laughs> all of it. So we have to... It's just a rule of the channel. We clarify our yes and our no answers. Even if, you know, the reading is supposed to be over. We still clarify our yes and no answers. All right. What's this yes answer for the Aries? Six of Swords. Yes, you... You will make the right choice. The sixes are about the choice. Yes, you. Some of you are going to have better health too. These three cards just fell out. 
yes you will reconcile with someone there'll be opportunity to either reconcile with friends the opportunity to celebrate the opportunity to create to start to just get back into the creation process of particular relationships maybe even with family uh, and or friends um, your thinking is different because you're at peace um, wow yes you, a, a desire is coming to fruition for you um, you could have a very wealthy partnership come to you or someone in your social circle. So. Not without the fight, though. Something comes back from the past. Something is trying to rear its ugly head. Something's getting in the way of the Three of Swords. Um, some of you would have to deal with. Somebody's going to be playing childlike games. Well, it says that the Aries is much more mature than this situation. Somebody's going to be super, super jealous. be jealous because it didn't it didn't work out with them it didn't happen with them I gotta be nosy now dang ace of cups comes out four of wands again ace of sword hmm Aries it looks like you have oh okay this is that this is that person, that crazy person. They just, they just get even more crazier. I mean, like they just, they they become mentally obsessed with the fact that you are getting what you want. You, they're jealous. They're heartbroken. They're everything, and they're just making your life a living hell because somebody doesn't want them something you you didn't have a lot of control over maybe we did I don't know. maybe you did a spell i don't know let me know send me the spell no jokes just joking um meet me on the other side let's see who this crazy ass person is who just comes and so much goodness is here for you and then this this person comes in and this is like oh I keep on hearing this oh hell no oh no no somebody is seeing you in all your your abundance and your if you get everything you deserve, like you put up with a lot of shit, you went through a lot of shit. You look where you are. The world talks about achieving a level of maturity and spiritual heightened awareness. Like I'm just feeling like this person just keeps coming at you and you're just like this like a, a rock a wall like they can't even penetrate your energy and it just infuriates them and it just bo it bothers the shit out of them like they are they just don't know what to do they're frazzled Meet me on the other side so we can talk about the other cards here that we pulled for you. If you take the advice of the cards, um, it looks really good for you. But just some um, advice here in regards to dealing with this particular person who is choosing you. Okay. All right, Aries. Thank you for tuning in. Take care. Um, 
the link for the extended read is below. It's always $2.25. Um, thank you, Aries. Take care. Bye.